Hello, my name is Fiona Parker and this is the follow-up video to our story time session where we read The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Now, I don't know if you remember, but in the story there was a nasty old troll that lived under the bridge. So today we are going to draw a picture of a troll. So a troll, you could also call a troll something like an ogre. So I'm going to start off the picture today thinking about that ogre that everybody knows and loves, Shrek. So we're going to use the um, idea of Shrek as our starting point for our troll drawing. So we are going to, we're only going to do a picture of the head and the shoulders. So we're not drawing the whole body today, which is why we've got our paper at landscape. So we're going to start with the head. Now I'm going to just be, do the top of the head first, like this. And then I don't know if you remember from Shrek, but he had these rather lovely trumpety type ears. So we're going to put those in here and we'll come back over and do the same on the other side. And then what we can do is complete our circle like that. I'm just going to go back over that line, make it just slightly thicker. I'm going to come up and just make that look a bit more fluid on this side as well. Like that. There we go. That's on, with previous drawings that we've done, if you ever do something that you slightly don't like, you can always try and incorporate it into the picture. So I've made that look a little bit like a shadow on the side of his face. So what we're going to do is add to these sort of Shrek-like ears, we're going to put a circular form on the top like that, which looks like that's the inside of the eardrum. And we're going to add just a few little lines crisscrossed over, just to give the idea that you'll, it, you'll look, you go into that part of the ear. And then what I want to do as the central part to our ogre's face, we want a really big nose like that. And I think before we go any further, we're going to put a lovely big spot on our ogre's nose. And then we're going to put in some nostrils on the end like that. And then I also want to get the mouth in. The mouth is a big open shape where he's gnashing his teeth at our three Billy Goats Gruff. As each one went across the bridge, so he came out from under the bridge shouting, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? So here we have our ogre with his mouth wide open shouting, at the goats and we're going to give him some really fierce looking pointed teeth showing out of his big open mouth and then what we'll also put in here is a tongue and then we'll have some pointy teeth on the bottom part of his mouth as well and when we come back at the end of the picture to to add in some colour, that's when that mouth will really pop out of his face. So now we're going to put in the eyes. So we're going to start with two circles on either side and then a, another inner circle coloured black and then we're going to give the well, this part of the eyes some little lines that might look like his eyes are bloodshot from shouting and gnashing his teeth so much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another part of his eye like this. And it's going to join where the nose left off. There we go. And then to finish off the eye, I'm going to give him some very dark black eyelashy type 
shapes and we'll colour those in black like this. So the face of our ogre is certainly starting to come into life and put some lines like that. And we want to also give him a furrowed brow where he's so busy shouting and gnashing his teeth and being mean that he's got all these lines appearing around his face. There we go. And we put some lines around his mouth like that. And then I want to add in some more spots because our troll is a very spotty fellow. So we're going to give him some spots. So it's just lines and circles. We'll give him a couple more on his nose as well. And some little dots to give the idea that he's got slightly blemished, pitted skin. Right. Okay, so we're not far off. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was give him some hair. So we're going to give him some hair, which is just going to be added on to the top of the picture like that. And then I also wanted to give him a slightly hairy chin. So we're going to just do a wiggly line that comes down from the bottom of the, the face and then goes off into a point to give that feeling of hair growing down from under his chin. And now you can do lots of little lines that come down to that centre point, which will look like strands of hair. Right, okay, and then we're just going to put in his um, shoulders, so just do a shape like that, and a shape like that, he's a big broad fellow, and we're going to carry the idea of his spotty pitted skin onto his shoulders, so again lots of spots and dots, and hairs, I think, as well, because he's a hairy fellow, is our troll. So I'll just do lots of little lines to look like hairs coming out of his skin, like that. Okay, and then finally, because I think we're almost there on our picture of our troll's face, um, I don't know if you remember from the story, but at the end he was tossed up into the air by the third billy goat gruff and he went flying up into the sky and then landed with a splash into the river where he wasn't seen again. So we're going to do some idea of water droplets coming out of him like this out of his mouth there we are right so then what we can do now we've got the main shape of our ogre our troll done you can start to add in color and that is where this would really pop into life so what we'll i'll just i won't color the whole thing in I will let you do that yourself. You can make this troll any colour that you like and you can do any variation of this troll to your own taste. So if you wanted to give him a different hairstyle, you could do that. If you wanted to make his, sh his face shape different, you could do that. If you wanted to give him different types of ears, you can do that. If you wanted to make him a friendly troll, so you make up your own version of the story where he isn't an angry troll, but he's a nice friendly troll, 
then you could turn your troll into a happy troll. Um, I will just quickly show you when you add a little bit of colour to your picture, how that can really bring your troll to life. So if I just add a little bit of colour onto his eyes, and I'm going to give him a red tongue as well. And then I'll put in a bit of yellow. So I'm going to give him yellow teeth. And again, as I said, I'm doing this today just to show you uh, what you can do. But when you're doing this yourself at home, you can be as creative as you want to with this and he doesn't have to we don't have to copy exactly what I am showing you now you can put your own stamp on this picture but you can just imagine him charging across the bridge all angry and shouting well I'll show you um, where's my green so I'm going to make these spots on his face um, green. I'm just looking for, um, don't know if that's the right green. It's not the green that I was after, but it's fine for just to demonstrate. So you start to add in colour to his markings. It really starts to bring him to life. So there you are, you can see he's starting to come to life is our ogre. I'm going to put a little bit of green on there. There we are. See, and as you can see, I'm using a combination again of coloured pencils and coloured felt tip pens. Um, if you were colouring in the water droplets, you can make those blue like this. Just go on and, and have fun with colouring in your picture. Um, that hair and can be coloured in. And here is a picture of one that I have done already just to show you. And I've made him brown with black hair. But when you come to colour him in, you can do whatever you like. And just an example of where you can vary how he looks. Here's another one that I had to go at where I gave him these kind of horn type ears and hair that went all around his face, a bit like an angry lion. So that's ideas that you can come up with. So have fun with that one. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again. I'll just pop that one there. I will see you again very soon. Take care, bye-bye.